My name is Neil, Neil Bartlett, and I'm in one of my favourite rooms in the whole flipping world. This is Gaze the Word bookstore in central London. And I'm here this morning speaking to you just before the shop opens for the day to mark an anniversary. 40 years ago today, uh, just around one o'clock on the 10th of April, 1984, two guys in plain clothes walked in through the front door of the shop just over there. They said they were customs officers and that they had reason to believe there was illegally imported and or obscene material in the shop. They got all the customers out. They asked the staff to lock the doors and then they went through all the bookshelves here and they pulled off the shelves over a hundred books. They threw them into plastic bags and they took them away in an unmarked car. What was going on? Well, 1984 was a very different place and time. Let me tell you about it. I was there at the time. Um, we didn't have basically the rights and protections that we have today. And also, most important of all, we were two years into the British AIDS epidemic and a lot of people in this country were beginning to think and indeed beginning to say that we'd be better off without those filthy disease carrying queers all over the place. And going for our beloved bookshop was a really good way of putting the screws on us as a community. It was a really big deal. If those books had been found to be illegal in any way, well, the bookshop couldn't keep trading because they'd lost all of that stock. And also the people who worked here and who ran the bookshop behind the scenes, they could have been sent to prison for up to two years. What happened next is even more strange and extraordinary. Um, we fought back and in a really big way. The staff here organised a brilliant campaign called Defend Gaze the Word. Um, lots of leaflets, lots of benefits to raise money, lots of lobbying, both behind the scenes and in public, calling in our friends in the trade unions, in City Hall, in the House of Commons. And two and a half years, because it took that long, two and a half years later, all of those charges were dropped. And the bookstore is still here. And as you can see, as fabulous as ever. I think it's really important that we remember our history and where we've come from. So today on this anniversary, I ask you to think about how fabulous we are, how strong we are. I ask you to think about how different 1984 was. How did we get from that place to this place? And I especially ask you to think about someone somewhere in a different city or town somewhere else in the world today, 40 years later. And it could be someone who works in a bookstore. It could be someone who works in a library. And especially it could be someone who works in a school. And they're thinking right now, I really hope today isn't the day when the guys come through the door and they tell me, excuse me, you're not really allowed to read that book. Thanks for joining me. I have to stop because it's time to open the shop. Someone's waving at me. So goodbye from Gaze the Word and thank you. you.